Hello and welcome to mymoneymaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be adding two digit numbers and three digit numbers together. And first of all, we go to question one, which is 26 add or plus 33. And there are a number of ways with that we can look at this. So first of all, we're going to partition. We're going to take those numbers apart. So first of all, we're going to look at the units. So we have three units in the second number and six units in the first number. And when we bring those together, we have a total of nine. And then we can look at the tens columns. And if I bring down the second number, which is 30, and bring down the first numbers, from the tens, which is 20, and we add them together, we get a total of 50. And if we add the 50 and the nine together, we have a total of 59. And the second way I'm going to show you how to add these two numbers together is looking at the column method or the vertical method, it's sometimes uh, called when we put them into lines. Um, now, some children in year three don't find this too easy to begin with, but uh, with some practice, you'll find it straightforward. And it's also going to help you in years uh, four, uh, five and six and so on. So let's have a little look. First of all, we're going to take 26 and we're going to add it to 33, making sure we include our addition symbol. Okay, just like before, we're going to add the units together first of all so six add three is nine and then we're going to add the tens together so we have 20 plus the 30 gives us 50 for a total of 59 and next we're on to question two which is 52 plus 17 and again to begin with we're going to look at the units and we're going to bring these down. So we have seven from the second value and a two from the 52 from the first value. And then we're going to add those together to give us a total of nine. Then we're going to look at the tens column. So here we have a 10 from the tens column and we have 50 from the first column. Add them together, it gives a total of 60. And when we add these numbers together, 60 plus the nine, it gives us a final answer of 69. And again, if we look at that second um, question, which is 52 plus 17, or add 17, and we're going to use the column method this time. So let's find our units and find our tens. So the first value is 52, and we're going to add that to 17. And if we take the red units to begin with, so two add seven is nine, and then we look at the black tens, and we have 50 plus 10, which is 60, for a final answer of 69, which of course is the same as the previous method. And next we're on to question three. And this time we have a three digit number at a three digit number, and it's exactly the same. There's just an extra calculation involved. So, so we have 644 add 115. And this time we have units, we have tens, and we have hundreds. So, so let's look at the units to begin with. And we have four in the first value and a five in the second value. So when we add these together, we finish with 
9. Then when we look at the tens columns, we have a 10 and a 40. And when we add these together, finish with 50. And then last of all, we're going to look at the hundreds columns. So we have 100 in the second, doesn't matter which order we do them in. And we have 600 in the first value. And when we add them up, we have 700. So when we look at our final calculation, we have 759. There's the green hundreds, there's the blue tens, and finally the red units. And again, we can look at calculating this addition question using the columns. First of all, we have 644, and we're going to add that to 115. So if we look at the red units to begin with, we add four and five together to give us nine. We have the blue tens. So that's 40 and 10 equals 50. So five goes into the tens columns for five tens. And then finally, we have the green hundreds. We have 600, add the 100, gives us a total of 700. And the seven is placed into the hundreds column to represent the 700 for a final answer of 759. And finally, on to question four, which has two values of 752. I'm going to add that to 221. And again, I'm going to split our number up into the units, into the tens, and finally into the hundreds. So let's have a little look. We're going to look at the units first. So the second value has one in the units, a single unit. And I'm going to add that to the two units in the first value gives a total of three. Then we're going to look at the tens column, which is 20 for the second value and 50 for the first value. We're going to add those together and that's going to give us 70. And then finally, in the hundreds column, we're going to take the 200 from the 221 and the 700 from the 752. Add them together to give us a total of 900. And when we add these three values together, we finish with 973. And we can also calculate this in our columns. So 752 Add together with a 221. Again, we have our units, the same as here. We have our tens, the same as here. And we have our hundreds, the same as here. So first of all, we're going to add the units together. So two units and one unit would be three units. Then we're going to add the tens. That's 50 plus 20 is 70. And finally, the 100, so 700 add 200 gives us 900 for a final answer of 973. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.